Last lesson, we learned that the operating system is the software that allows us to interact with the computer system. We learned how it manages the allocation of memory and processing time. There are a number of additional important features common to most operating systems though. Computers will typically have a number of input and output devices connected to it. Input devices allow us to enter data into the computer system while an output device allows us to receive data from a computer system. These devices connect to your CPU via the motherboard through a cable like a USB or wireless method like Bluetooth. Data, such as signals from input devices, can transmit through these cables to the motherboard and through this to the CPU. The operating system has an important role in managing input and output devices. For example, when an input device needs to send data to the CPU, the operating system will handle interrupting the CPU's normal processing of instructions so that it can deal with this device. Of course, the CPU is also a lot faster than we can transfer data to and from input and output devices. This is why the operating system will reserve an area in RAM called buffer memory. The buffer memory holds data passed to it from the CPU and waits until the input or output device is ready. An example of this is the print buffer, which will store the data that you are printing until it can be transferred to the printer and printed out. In order for input and output devices and your operating system to be able to communicate with each other, a special piece of software is needed called a device driver. A device driver is a small program specific to each peripheral that allows the user and the OS to be able to manage the device. A driver is basically a translator that will convert the OS instructions into instructions that the device will understand. For example, Say you buy a Samsung printer, you will install a driver for this. When you print a document, the device driver will talk to the Samsung printer and tell it, in Samsung's own language, how to print. When you sell this and buy a Brother printer, the Samsung drivers won't work. You'll have to install Brother printer drivers, even though you just want to print the same document. Most modern operating systems have an inbuilt driver library that will work with most available devices. Application software cannot run without the operating system. Last lesson, we saw that the operating system manages the allocation of processing time and memory with all of the application software we run. It isn't just in this way that the operating system supports applications though. It provides a platform for which the application software can run on. This allows the applications to be able to communicate with your computer's hardware such as to load or save a file. Through the use of an application programming interface or API, we are able to write software that can run on all of the different hardware being used out there. You probably know there are different manufacturers of processors, memory, storage, graphics card and such forth out there. Each of these manufacturers will create many different devices. These will all work in slightly different ways. The operating system and API will ensure that the instructions being sent by your application software can be understood by all of this different hardware. Operating systems come with built-in security functionality. This involves allowing us to create individual user profile accounts and allocate these to users. It is also the operating system that will allow us to set access rights for each user profile. This involves putting users into groups and giving these groups specific permissions. In your school, you might be a member of the student group that has relatively few permissions, while your teacher probably has some further permissions. User management will provide further security features such as user authentication and event logs. User authentication is where a user must enter a username and password in order to gain access to a user profile. This prevents unauthorized access to the computer system from malicious users. Event logs track when a user logs in and out of a specific machine, so you can track a cybersecurity incident by finding who was on a device when the incident occurred. So. The operating system will manage how data passes between peripherals and the CPU. 
This includes by handling interrupts and by managing a buffer in memory. A driver is a small program that translates instructions from the operating system into instructions that the device can understand. Most operating systems come with built-in drivers. They'll also allow you to install additional drivers. The operating system will manage your applications and ensure they can communicate with your hardware through the use of APIs. The operating system will allow you to create user profile accounts, manage these accounts' access rights, and provide security features like password authentication and event logs.